welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are in line for such an amazing show. At least that's what they tell me. <laughs> there's so much. Do you ever have that moment when there's so much in your head and you know you can't say half of it, but you really, really want to? Welcome to my world. So much I want to talk about on this show that I can't, but if you know, you know. So our prayers go out to everybody in Maui and um, I believe Portland, any place there are fires. And let me tell you folks, that is not only going on in the U.S., that is going on in other countries. Uh, surprisingly, complete shocker to everyone where these fires are, the government couldn't acquire the land unless there was a natural disaster. If you know, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. And I, I, just, you know, just on kind of that same note, every place that these fires are, they've had meetings for 15-minute cities. Do, 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 do. Just saying, folks. Pay attention to what's going on around us. Okay, now let's get started. I will be taking callers today. You can call in. You can uh, ask questions about life, love, career, finances. Please have a specific question ready. <clears throat> yep. A specific question ready. Or if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, um, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I am here every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. So I can get people, you know, all different, like uh, people who are available during the day, people who are available during the evening. <clears throat> second. What do I normally say second, folks? Oh, you can also join in live on YouTube. <laughs> If you would like to join us live on YouTube, you can join in on the chat and um, ask questions there or connect with loved ones there. I'm happy to help you with that. Um, I will never reach out to you on any form of social media. Never, ever, ever, ever. Uh, the healing on TikTok today is for um, defeat not your feet, like on the bottom of your legs, defeat, like if you feel defeated. Um, so you can go there and get that healing. I am going to start the show with a healing today. I have not done this in a bit, but um, I was watching um, TikTok uh, this weekend and I saw this woman and she said, and it was like one of those light bulb moments that sent me down a weekend spiral of healing and clearing. And I want you to join in the spiral. Of course I do. And what she said is this, your relationship, and I'm paraphrasing, she is really good. I wish I knew her name, but every time I see her, somebody has um, just put her video on their page and she's really good. But she said, your relationship probably looks like your life, the first four or five years of your life. So when you were a child in that first four or five years, whatever you dealt with at that time, that's probably the way your relationships show up and everybody's going right now right for those of us who don't have stable loving partners so 
if you dealt with instability or abandonment or your mother had too many children and couldn't care for you or your mother was your father, whatever, whatever they were going through, that's how basically your relationship shows up. And then that led me down this big, huge spiral of, you know, we say we want love and we show all of this love to people and we give them love and we say, you know, it, people can only love you the way you love. But what if, <laughs> what if, <laughs> if, <laughs> what if people are loving you the way you were loved that first, the way you, per your perception, the way that you saw yourself being loved the first four or five years of your life. Now, bear with me here. Hold on to your pantaloons. Because if you don't. So if the first four or five years of your life, it was chaotic or your parents were very busy or it was instability or your parents just didn't know how to love infants or children or toddlers or there were just hella kids running up in that house like my mom had five like like she was a candy making pez dispenser like in the like boom 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 i mean i don't even i think she was pregnant she got pregnant with one while giving birth to the next i don't even know anymore she just like had five on the go like i have to have them now or i'll never have them like we can't take a breather in between these kids. Let's get this done. I've got a job to do and it's popping babies out. And, you know, I was number three. So she and my older brother, well, pff, that's a whole book. Like his early babyhood is a whole book. So a lot of her attention went to that. And then right after me, she was popping my younger brother. So yeah, there's that. So do my partners represent what that probably looked like? And do yours. I want to hear, put it in the comments. If you are on YouTube with me, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Is Does this ring, does this feel true to anybody else? Does it ring true for you? I want to say hi to everybody on um, YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. Margaret, Amy, Terry, Sal, um, MK. Thank you for being here. Rebecca, Jay Francis. Um, I'm scrolling back up, but I'm not going to uh, I think I have everybody. Heather, of course, Heather, 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 of course, Heather. Okay, I'm going to give just a couple of songs. And the first song is, and it, <laughs> they were singing, I'm going to give you the song. And then I'm going to give you the version they were giving me. It's um, Riders of the Storm. Riders of the Storm, into this world we're born something something liars cheaters thieves that's the version they kept singing to me like all night last night i was like oh my gosh stop and then okay the next song um is annie are you okay are you okay annie are you okay so annie are you okay? Do you need us to call someone for you? No, the seriously, on a serious note, the songs can be a song that somebody you loved on the other side, um, somebody on the other side loved, you loved, you listened to together. It could be the answer to a question. The next song is Live and Let Die. Do, 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 do. And I apologize and for all of that bad talent. There is a such thing as bad talent. It goes beyond no talent to bad talent. And there it was. Um, so living, they're not letting it go. Dun, 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 dun. 
no, no, no. That song, I'm sure they, they've got it. They know. Um, the next song is, um, it's, oh my gosh, not again. It's from that. Okay. Somebody is bringing up again, that movie in the heat of the night. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm just going to let that lay right there. Whoever it is for, you can pick it up. You can pick it up. Yes, Heat of the Night with Archie Bunker. Da -na -na. <laughs> Na -na -na. Okay, they're going into movies. And the next movie is that movie with Crockett and T Tubbs. Were Crockett and Tubbs in a movie? I feel like they were. I feel like it was that movie that everybody says is a Christmas movie, but it's not a Christmas movie. Tech. Is that called Die Hard? Oh, Crockett and Tubbs were in Miami Vice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Jay Francis. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Frankie, welcome to the show. Um, okay, and then that that the, and then Die Hard with um, I think it's Mel Gibson and that I don't know the other guy's name. So that that movie too. Okay, now I'm going to give you names of people. These this could be your name. It could be their name. It's it is what it is. If you hear a name and it uh, the first name is Paul, Pauline, Paulette, whatever that is, any version of Paul, apparently. The next name is I can't, I didn't even have time to uh, go, go and give the whole explanation. So I will do that afterwards. Um, the next name is uh, uh, Jennifer. And the next name is um, J Jimmy. And then the next name is Jerome. And then the next name is T Todd. And then we have a Tim. Oh, the boys are coming in today, folks. We got the men showing up. I, I just needed a break, so I had to be. Guadalupe, they are not playing with me today. They are not playing with me today. Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Okay, I'm sorry. Stop. They're telling me to just, just say the names, Tony. Okay. Um, Mary Beth. Sanchez, which I'm going to guess is the last name. Um not a first name. J um, that name is not leaving my mouth. So you can just walk on by. Um, uh, Mary Beth. And then we have uh, the next name is. Um, Sometimes I can't pronounce the name, so I ask them to spell it, and it's A-Y-A-H-A-A-Y-A-H-A-S-H-A. Ayahasha. I'm sorry uh, for um, whatever I did to your name there. I apologize. Um, the next name is uh, Roberto. I kind of like that. I can never roll my tongue unless I'm saying the name seriously. Uh, I, <laughs> the next name is Cindy or Cynthia. And the next name is um, Jewel. Uh, J-E-W-E-L. And then we're, we have... Jewel, and then we have, um, we have, um, then, uh, okay, uh, June, and then the next name is, a uh, um, David. Okay, we're going to let the names go now. Okay, you guys, I am going to get right into the show. I'm so excited to get into the show and be be with everybody and start answering questions. So happy. Uh, hey, Anne, welcome to the show. Hey, Lisa, welcome to the show. Uh, lethal Weapon. It wasn't Die Hard. It was Lethal Weapon. I don't know. 
I'm going to. Oh, there's one one more thing that's coming through, and it's from that Hunger Games, um, Burning Fire, Hunger Games. I actually really like that series, um, and it is a. a that song again i know i've had that song before and it's um it's the song um are you are you coming to the tree they say i killed them that song is coming through and there was one other song coming through this morning um and I'm trying to think of it because it, it's not the take me to church song, but it's a, if it comes through, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Hey, Mimi, welcome to the show. Okay, so I'm going to be going back and forth, taking callers on the call log, and then coming back and taking, answering questions in YouTube. So I, uh, if you have a question, please post it in YouTube. I will get to it. I'm going to start with the call log. Please have one question. Please do not put me on the spot and say, can I ask another question? Um, because there, there are some, a, a lot of people waiting uh, for the, uh, a chance to call and they don't know to call 15 minutes early and it's really not fair to them. And I don't want to seem like I'm mean um, and tell you no, but I'm going to have to start doing that. So uh, please have one specific question and or one specific connection waiting for uh, one specific connection that you would like to connect to. Um, and again, if you do have a lot of questions or you want something a little bit more private, I do sessions that are private, um, T-O-N-I-G dot info. All the info is in the description of whatever venue you are watching, unless you're watching literally on TV, like Rude Rangers, streaming channels, Roku, um, or WSCS or any of their streaming channels, then the, the info might not be there. So the um, web address or the place to get all the info for the uh, private sessions is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Okay, we are going to go to the first caller and the first caller is 510. 510, what's your name and where are you calling from? Tamika, I'm calling from California. Hey, Tamika, I'm going to need you to Hello. do me a favor and talk just a little slower. Where are you calling from, love? California. Excellent. Tamika, how can I help you today? Hey, my question is regarding love. Um, when do you see me spelling down again? <laughs> and, um, I've been single. I've been divorced for a while. You know, so I'm wondering when will I... Settle down again. Yeah. Okay, so Tamika, thank you so much for asking that. And I'm laughing because when you started talking, I instantly heard the song, I got the spirit in me. And I I cannot sing that. I cannot sing anything, but that song instantly <laughs> came through. And then uh the and it reminded me that I talked about relationship in the beginning. Um and how we get, how, you know, things show up. And I forgot to do the healing. So let's do the healing or the clearing. And the first clearing we're going to do, Tamika, so please bear with me just for a quick second here, is um, we bring people into our lives that truly know how to love I and to love us, to appropriately love us. And I get a no, so let's heal, clear, release that. Okay. All that caused it and kept it as heal, cleared, released. I get a no. We're going to heal, clear, release that. Now, here's what I'm going to say, Tamika. In October, if you are invited to a Halloween costume or Halloween no costume party or any Halloween festivities, please go. I feel like there is a very strong... Um, potential for you to meet somebody over some kind of pumpkin something, whether it's a pumpkin latte, pumpkin bread, or just pumpkin picking. I don't know. 
not my thing. Anytime in October, if you yeah, are. Yeah, not my thing. That's not my thing either. I know. I I know, but sometimes we have to get outside of our normal. And when they say anytime in October, and maybe you're just someplace and the other person is having a pumpkin latte, maybe there's a pumpkin outside of the place you're sitting at. I don't know. Anytime in October, you are invited any place. It, just, it should be just the holiday season itself that I meet somebody. Because I, I don't have any kids. I, mean, I don't have a reason to go I'm doing things pumpkin issues. Well, so, are in June. And I already had a bad experience on um, Halloween Day a couple of years ago, so I don't really celebrate that anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry, love. But here's what <clears throat> here's what I want to say. It doesn't have to be about the Halloween Day itself. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be that exactly. What I can say to you, though, and how I will say this is they're saying anytime during the month of October. So that opens up all of October to you. Second, right. just okay. because you don't have kids, it doesn't mean you can't decorate a pumpkin and make some pumpkin seeds. Or it doesn't mean you can't put like a scarecrow on your whatever. I don't know. I'm making things up now. But the, the thing is. Okay. You don't have to like ban the whole thing. And again, it could be that you're someplace where something else is going on, even if you're not partaking in it. The real, the real gist of this, I will say, is you being open out and about during the month of October. I do feel like the okay. the person coming in is a little bit um big boned or stocky it's not a thin person ah, i know who that is i know who that is <laughs> okay now i'm gonna he's say... already present in my life he's already in my life yeah he's well, already in my life okay well what i'm gonna say to you is be open there's not only one stocky me one stocky person in the world you might also yeah i know I know, I know. Okay, well, just be open the whole month of October. Be out, be about, and be in front of people um, so that this opportunity can come to you. Okay, love? Okay. Okay, thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go back on my YouTube chat. Um Hi, Tony. This is Karen. I'm the person that asked you twice about my upcoming law case. Both times you saw it going in favor. I know that things change. So as I approach it on September 14th, can you tell me how you see it going? I hear good again. Now, Karen, if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. We can get a little bit more in depth about like some of the details of the law case or you could schedule. I don't know. What I'm hearing is it's going to go good. Only keep a positive outcome in your mind. Um, and I'll do a clearing for you and anybody else going into court or having a legal issue. This is going to come out in our favor. I get a yes. We're going to strengthen that. Anything stopping or blocking a favorable outcome for us has been cleared, healed, released. I get a yes. Um, we're going to strengthen that, bring in all that good, good heavenly energy. Angels will be fighting there with us and for us on the day we'll be in court. Let's make sure of that. And remember, folks, everybody has two or three angels with them at all times, but direct them, ask them. And please, when you're talking with your angels, um, don't say it in a way that is if you want to, like, that's like talking to a lazy employee, like, hey, could you move that box if you want to? Nobody ever wants to move a box, okay? So when you're talking to your angels, say, angels, I need X, Y, Z done. Just like that. It's not rude. 
It's I know it seems rude to those of us who are hyper vigilant about being to whatever it's it's really not. It's like being the owner of a company and having a deadline and the owner, uh, CEO, managers, they know how to direct and dictate. And that's the place you need to be in when you need things done. I need this done. Thank you. Say thank you. That'll make you feel better. Okay. 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 If you are on YouTube and you have a question or just a goofy, goofy a comment you'd like to share with the world, please post it in. I'm going to go to the next caller. I think the next caller is 571. 571, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Calling from Washington, D.C. How are you? I'm good. What's your name, love? Vicky. Vicky. Excellent. Thank you for calling in. How can I help you today? Oh, please do. <laughs> I have a full-time job, but this is the most chaotic place that I've ever been. Do you see a new opportunity coming my way? Yes. And again, um, end of September, beginning of October, which doesn't surprise me given the fact that we are, you know, nearing the end of August. I feel like throughout the month of September, you are really going to uh, boots on the ground, be sending stuff out. Um, I feel like you're going to find something mid, hmm, wait, let me get this correctly. Is she going to find it in September? No, October. Okay. In September, you're going to be sending a ton of stuff out. Send it out. Send out to everybody. Send it out. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing as we speak. Yes, I am. Excellent. Make sure you're sending it out private so they know not to connect with your current company. In October, you mid-October, you are going to find your new position. I feel like, though, that doesn't mean stop looking now. I feel like you might send something out in September, but it doesn't get addressed until October. Um, whatever it is, I feel like, and I feel like there may be a remote or a travel aspect to this, okay? Whatever it is that you decide to do, there may be some kind of remote or travel side to it. I hope that makes sense to you, and I hope that that helps you a great deal. But I do feel like in October, something brand new is going to come in. Um, it is not going to be as chaotic. It is not going to be as um, intense is the word I'm getting. It's not going to be as intense at all. Okay, love? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. And absolutely my pleasure. Absolutely. I am, um, yeah, oh, Sal. Okay, so Sal has a question, um, and it's a statement he's making, um, and I am going to address this, although this is one of the things in my head that I was not going to address. And before I say what I'm about to say, I'm going to say this just say no. Um, as much as we are capable of doing it, the answer will be no non-compliance. Now I'm going to address Sal's question. Hi, Tony. I'm hearing chatter about another lockdown. What do you see? Um, <clears throat> I see that there are going to be a number of attempts. They are going to start making federal employees wear masks again. Um, from what I heard, uh, this is not intuitive. From what I heard, they're going to try to implement the masks again. That's the start. They're going to bring this in slow and steady um, because, of course, next year is what? The elections. Um, and the only way they can get the ballots they need, I have to be so careful, if you know, you know, um, 
is with mail-in. And I'm going to say this. I'm just going to say this. I have said this for so long. I am going to say it again. We need to implement fingerprint voting. Just Police carry little fingerprint things in their cars. Um, <clears throat> everybody has their own individual. Oh, my throat is going groggy. I might be, I might be overstuffing here, folks. <clears throat> everybody has a unique fingerprint. Everybody's fingerprint can be uploaded. You put your fingerprint in, you get your ballot. If nobody has used your fingerprint so far, you're golden. Now, think of all the people who would not even show up to vote if we had fingerprint voting. It's so simple, but they can't win that way and they can't cheat that way. <clears throat> just saying, just saying. Um, I think they're going to try as it sits right now. It will not be successful because we've done a full round of this and everybody saw how it turned out. I don't think as many people will partake, but I do think that isn't going to stop them. They may give it the old college try. Okay. Uh, that is what I'm getting on that. Sal, thank you so much for asking. And again, just say no to as much as you can and allow yourself to be in that space where you are in, um, you're standing in, in your integrity and what you believe and not allowing for certain things. That's the best way I can say that. Um, hey, Lainey, I think you pronounce your name Lainey, L-A-Y-N-E. Um, Hazel, I'm just going to call you Hazel because I love that. Um, welcome to the show. Uh, Lisa, welcome to the show. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. And I think, Lisa, you are the next caller because you have 831 up. And um, um, Lisa, I'm pretty sure you are next. And here we go, 831. 831, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, that is me. <laughs> so my that. question today is I I am considering uh, going, I've been taking care of my mother in hospice and I'm really finding a love for this disciplinary and was going to continue my education. Do you see that I should Okay, so Lisa, what I'm where are you where are you located, Lisa? Santa Cruz, California. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. Um, I just like to know where people are calling from, plus then I can feel your energy a little bit more. Um I can feel the energy just a little bit more. It's it's an odd thing for me. Um, uh, what I'm getting, Lisa, is, uh, and if I'm getting it correctly, you want to know if you should go back to school. Is that correct? Is that your question? For, and, yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Um, in the next semester, I, okay, so here's what I'm getting. I I'm going to ask you one more question, and I'm sorry because I know what I'm seeing, but I'm going to ask you something weird. What are you thinking of going back to school for? I'm so sorry, love. No, that's an advanced degree in, um, I'm in a, a vocational nurse now, and considering becoming an RN, but okay. I, I'm looking as, at hospice as a disciplinary or specialty. Okay, here's what I'm getting, and I'm going to say it to you exactly how I'm hearing it, and you can do what you really want with this. What I'm getting is you don't need to, okay. but, if, but if it makes you feel good or this is what you want, you should do it. 
don't do it only with the idea of this one vision. Also have other outcomes that are possible from this. Keep it like a lot of options. Like if I if I go for an RN, I can oh, do this, but I can also do this, 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 this. Okay. So have a lot of options because I think if you go for this, you're going to want to change the way it looks at the end. Now, let me um, try to help explain this a little bit better. You might start... <sighs> you might start a whole organization that um, is a different type of hospice, okay? <laughs> So I know. No, I, I, I completely understand. Oh, thank goodness. So here's what I'm going to say to you. I want you to go back with the idea, not only that this is what you can do, but I want you to keep it very open to you being able to start a whole new way or your own either either and or it could be one of these it could be all of these combined a whole new way and or whole new type of organization um with hospice and i want you to get a nonprofit, and i want you to use that nonprofit. i need you to get this nonprofit, like in a minute <laughs> in a minute. Uh, don't start singing spirit. I'm doing so good here. I need you to get it toot sweet. Get this nonprofit status toot sweet and use that also. One of my favorite movies. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, use this nonprofit also, also to get grants and funding for edu you're furthering your education and then grants and funding to figure out how you want to do this organization. Now, I'm going to say, even if it's it ends up um, not being for hospice, it might have a hospice element, but it's going to have these other elements. And I want you to be in a place where you have all the options, okay? So please make sure you are doing the nonprofit, using the nonprofit for federal and state grants for women, for, for health care, for hospice, for what, education, for whatever it is. And then also, and it's going to take a, some work. It is. There's a lot of paperwork, but whatever. It is what it is. And then keep a very open, general, don't pinpoint it. Even when filling out the paperwork, don't pinpoint it down to this one thing. Keep it more open and general so that you have options available yeah. all the way through. And that's what they have for you. Thank you so much. Yes, do less is what I am <laughs> ultimately moving forward. Ooh, okay, I hope that that is helpful for you. You are on the right road. It is going to change a little bit as you go through it. I want you to know that it might look this way as you start, but it's going to look, uh, it might change the uh, how you want it to operate and or look may change um, as you move forward. Okay, love? Completely understood. Watching my mother through hospice at this time, I've learned a lot and I'm moving towards death doulas, like in birth doulas, but with death doulas. Okay. So you've hit upon a lot of points for me. Thank you. Then uh, thank you so much for that confirmation and, and them, they're confirming for you and thank you for confirming for me. You're on the right track. Stick with it. Kind of keep your some of your keep your proprietary information or what you're going to do that hasn't been done before keep it personal until it's public until it's up and running okay 
Not a problem. Thank you. And, and I will say this very quickly. Um, somebody who might already be in an, uh, in a position to, to take that, believe me, people are always swooping in to swoop it up is the way I'll say that. Okay, love? Whew. I understand. Excellent. Thank you again. You are so welcome. Thank you for calling in. Remember, everybody, I'm here every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at, um, 7 p.m. Central. If you don't get through uh, today, please do come back. I will uh, try to get to your question and or uh, on the phone or in YouTube. Um, and if you do have um, a bit of a situation or you want to keep the content a little bit more private and not have it on TV, radio and every every podcast, you can book a private session with me via my website, T-O-N-I-G.I-N-F-O. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one, and there's a loved one here named Herman, H-E-R-M-A-N. Um, and, um, and yeah, and, and if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. We still have some time left in the show, which means we're going to continue to take questions because I love it and I love it. I don't even like that song, but they keep bringing it through to me. Ah, okay. Um, so... Anne wants to know any message um, from my cousin TJ. And, uh, you know, it's a very quick and simple and easy message. It starts with, I love you, but stop procrastinating. So if there's something that you've been thinking about doing, something you've been called to do, or something just even around your house, stop procrastinating, get on it, get up and do things. Um, get those gears turning is what I'm hearing. Heather, I want to give you your song of the day because um, I didn't give you a song. Um and I I feel like every time I come on, Heather gets a song and um uh, and actually, Heather, I'm trying to get this song out of my head so I can make sure it is your actual song. <sighs> What's Heather's song for the day? <laughs> ah, la, 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 bamba. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even, even if they gave me the next words, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, Heather, La Bamba, a la 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 bamba, and I'm, I can't, I know what it sounds like next, but I can't say what it sounds like next, um, so I'm sorry, Heather, I'm going to go to 860, 860, what's your name, and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amla from Connecticut. How are you, Tony? I'm good, Amla. How are you? Good, good. Um, so I'm just gonna get to the question. I know you have other callers, but um, so there's a lot of shifting. I've been meeting a few people, and it just did its own thing. And I'm I'm elevating. I'm I'm ascending, and I just it's interesting. I just don't know what spirit has in store for me. It just like well, I'm going one way, and then. All of a sudden, it's another way, and it's good. But I'm just wondering when you feel I'm meeting the the committed person. <laughs> okay, so um, so Amla, one of the things I'm getting for you, and for whatever this is worth for you, um, there's a couple different elements to this, and I don't know how much of it is attached to the rest of it. So I'm going to give you two or three things and then I'm going to explain my comment. The first thing is there are organizations that you should start um, doing activities with and those organizations are organizations that are in alignment with 
<clears throat> what you're going through, like losing vision impaired. Thank you, spirit. Vision impaired, where they set up events and meets and get togethers. Um, and I feel like there may be somebody within one of those organizations that you may have the opportunity to be committed to. Um, but the other thing I'm hearing is keep just getting out there, not only with those organizations, but with other organizations and doing things that call your heart because the right person will be there and will be in a space for you. Now, the one thing I'm hearing for you is um, timing is everything. And I, you know what? I'm going to, we get, I, I sometimes, Sometimes and and Amla, I hope you heard the be like near the beginning of the show. Sometimes we get what we want, but sometimes we get what we need, and other times we get what we're afraid of. So what what yes. yeah, so that could mean so many things. Like when we're talking about a partner, and if we have a fear in our life that we have it resolved and it may not even have to do with the partner but we have this impending doom or this big fear of either finances or health or or abuse whatever it is another narc because we have tons of narcissists in our family and we don't want to date what well, whatever it is whatever this fear is that we sometimes We'll get that just so that we can see that we're strong enough to say no to that and then move on to the next thing. Amla, I feel like there are going to be three to four people coming into your life that are all potential partners, but not all of them are, of course, keepers. Two of them are going to be poo-pooed right away because they're going to be like no show, no call, no bueno whatever that means. Um, but yeah. then there's going to be the next one. And it's possible that there are, and here's the thing, because I apparently am not being allowed to finish a sentence. Um, the other thing that I'm getting is sometimes yeah. you have to start saying no. You have to be the one to shut it yeah. down. Sometimes it yeah. can't always be or shouldn't always be the other person shutting it down and you don't need like okay so this is another spiral moment i had this weekend why did it have to go to this point why the first infraction wasn't enough so when we're in a relationship and when we're in a business setting in a business setting if this happens we're like no done over boom see you so like when you take your exactly. book amla and somebody tries to cross that line or doesn't show up the way they're supposed to, you're like, uh-uh, no way. But when it comes to our personal lives exactly. and how we, how we allow people... That's exactly what happened, actually, over the weekend. You're, you're, you're spot on. How we allow people to treat us. And Amla, I will unmute you. I just want to get through this, not only for you, but for anybody else listening. Um, but when it comes to our personal life, how we allow people to treat us we let them cross the line and cross the line and we make excuses for them. But in the business world, if we own a business or we're a manager, we would never let employees walk over us like that. We would say, okay, here's the rules, follow the rules, or you're going to be looking for a new job. You're going to be out on your butt. You're not going to abuse my business. You're not going to abuse my book. You're not going to abuse us. And, and we can easily say no to stand up for our product, our job, our whatever. Or if your boss tries to put a ton of work on you, like, like no, that's not mine. Whatever it is, in a work environment, we most of us, some of us, can have the ability to say, no, this isn't acceptable. But when it comes to our private life, 
We let people trample on us like we are oceanfront property and it is spring mother freaking break, okay? We allow people to come in and set up and go out and use and abuse and um, we don't hold them accountable. And then they walk away and we're like, but, but, but I was so good to them, but I did everything for them. Yeah, that's called, you know, allowing people to use you. And why did you? Pe men, women don't respect the person that does the most for them and the best for them. They start to lose respect because they, they personally feel in those cases that that person might not be respecting themselves, that they're a pushover, that they're doing all this stuff for the other person. And that's not the case. The, the people do it out of genuine love. But again, are both people loving on the same level? Now, the first thing that a person does that crosses that boundary should be the last thing and the last time they do that. It doesn't need to get to that point where you're trying to collect evidence and prove that you're right. The fact that you feel it is all you need and you don't need anything to back it up or justify it. If it doesn't feel right, walk. It just doesn't feel right. You don't, you're not five stealing a cookie from the freaking cookie jar. If you're in a situation that doesn't feel right, it just doesn't feel right. Walk, go, get out. And don't wait until there are months and years or whatever. If it because I, I will tell you this from personal experience and everybody I know, if it didn't feel right in the beginning. Um, it didn't get better later on, but if you didn't call it in the beginning or they didn't change once you called it, it just kept going in that way. It just kept going in that direction and you just kept ending up repeating that cycle. And then here you are today going, I just don't understand this. So sometimes we have to be the person that says no and moves on. Sometimes we have to be the person that ends it. And it's really difficult sometimes for us to end it because we have that never ending hope and belief that if only it were like this or like that. And the truth of the matter is, if it could be like that, it would be like that. There's somebody that's already perfect for you. You don't need to excuse and accept what is not. Okay, Amla, I'm going to come back to you now. Okay, I hope that was yeah. helpful, Amla. Yep. Excellent, excellent. And moving forward, it's good for you to say no until it's a good, solid, practical yes. Okay, sweetie? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much, yes. love, for calling in. I hope this was helpful. And I cannot wait to talk with you again. Remember, I'm even here in the evenings, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, Central Time. So if you need to call back, want to call back, please don't hesitate, okay? And, and Amla, um, it's time for you to, if you haven't already started your next book, it is time for you to do that, okay, sweetie? Okay. Okay, I'm I can't hear you. It's very muffled. I'm going to um let me check something. Uh okay, I think I have time for one more. I'm gonna go to 914. 914, okay. what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Catherine. I'm calling from New York. Hey Catherine, how, how can are I help you? I'm good. How can I help you today, love? I um, I, I was wondering if I'll be traveling this year, I'm looking to go overseas, perhaps. Um, so I hear yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no. So two yeses and a no. Um, sweetie, when are you thinking of traveling? 
I was thinking end of September, early October. As long as you keep it within that timeline, you should be okay. Make sure that your destination is cleared is what I'm hearing. I don't know really what that, I think I know what I that means. I want to go to Italy, yeah. You're going to Italy? Yeah, I was thinking Italy. I just didn't know if I wanted to go to Rome or Sicily. Or maybe both. I don't know. That's such a tough choice. Oh my gosh. I would take either in a heartbeat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm getting is the sooner you go, the better. And then also to make sure that where you're going, um, make sure that it is um, a little bit, I just want to say cleared and and good for for the travel the way you want to travel. Okay, love? Mm-hmm. And I also wanted to let you know that I um I danced to that song you were singing, but Annie, are you okay? The smooth <laughs> criminal song all the time. So I thought that was for me. I love that. Yeah. Own it, claim it, keep it. It's yours, <laughs> sweetie. I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much yeah. for confirming <laughs> that for me. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. I love Thank that. Thank you. You are welcome. You are so welcome, sweetie. I'm so Thanks. grateful that you called in. And please yes. have, have safe, fun travels. Have such safe, fun travels. Okay, everybody, I want to remind you I'm here every Monday at noon central. And I'm back every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. I do an hour show both times I try to. I try to get in an hour each time. I take callers on the call um, line, which is 845-277-9131. And I also answer questions in the chat. If you want to know when I'm coming on, hit the button, whatever button you're listening on. So you can join the show live and I can... Um, get to you, answer your question, help you connect with loved ones. I do have a couple more loved ones here that want to say hi before we go. And I also am hoping I have times to do where we're going to meet. So where we're going to meet is a new segment of the show where um, possibilities of where somebody who's listening might meet a potential partner. And the first thing I, I want to say, I do see um, a couple business opportunities for people who are thinking about open, opening a business. And one of them has to do with food and um, a chef. And, and this is a stand, like an actual restaurant, but not a big, big restaurant. It's like a, how do I describe this? There's like a, a grill, a flat grill. And then people can sit around the grill, kind of like when you go to those places, but but it's on a walk away. Like people are walking by and anytime you want to uh, come up, people, you can prep, cook, cook whatever's on the menu for the people right there and they can leave with it or they can sit down and eat. Somebody's going to be starting um, a, rest, a little restaurant or a big restaurant um, there. It's not a restaurant, but a, a walk away, a walkway thing. Okay. The next thing that I'm getting, I see a couple of people actually meeting in Vegas, <laughs> a couple, uh, not, not one, not two, but four people, uh, meeting in Vegas. Is that two couples? Is it four couples? I don't know, but I see four people, uh, meeting and having relationships that start in Vegas. The next thing I'm getting is there's a Gabrielle on the other side, Gabrielle, um, and then there's also a Jacinta. Jacinta. I do want to say that there's a message from an angel that is here. And the, the, angel, the angel is saying, please have faith, move forward, work with us because we are trying to work with you. Make sure that you are moving in the direction of faith, hope, and love. And let's anything stopping or blocking faith, hope, and love has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that now. I want you to know I love each and every one of you. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. I look forward to talking with each and every one of you and seeing you again then. Thank you.